Hey guys, today I'll be doing another Sony Vegas tutorial on how to do the shake and, if you want, with the blur. So, a lot of you have requested the shake effect, one of you said with the blur, so I'll be showing you how to do both. So first things first, you gotta get the actual plugin, it's not defaultly put on Sony Vegas. So if you go to my website, there's Sony Vegas free plugins on vegaseffect.co.nf, you click the sapphire and you press the download button. It will direct you to a media file link and then you press the download button. So go ahead and download that. That'll have the 32-bit and the 64-bit version on it. Okay, once the download is finished, just open it. This is the installation and the crack, basically. First thing first, I would extract this either to your desktop or any location you want, and then open it. So just open in the installation and obviously install it. And then once it's installed, you can just open the readme file and it has all the instructions here so you open it and press patch I guarantee there is no virus but you might get a notification or something that says there is a virus in here for me it's been working this the whole time I've had it so no viruses so that is the end of the installation let's get into actually putting it on a clip okay first things first add the footage then go to video effects and add the sapphire underscore shake effect. Go to the default preset because there will be no other presets. I've made these presets by myself so they're not defaultly put there. Once you have the preset, there will be the two main sliders to play with. So these are the amplitude and the frequency. This is basically the intensifier right here. So if we do it to 30... God, this is going to be crazy. If we do it to 30 and press play, it, it's pretty shaky. So if we go to the amplitude and we put that to about 5 and we press play, it's all over the place. So these two are the main sliders. So the frequency, as I said, this is how frequent it shakes or how intense the shake is. And the amplitude is how amplified it is on the screen. If it's set to 5, it'll actually cut the screen and it'll go over and it'll kind of duplicate it just to fill in the blank. So that's why you keep that a bit low. Keep the frequency a bit low too and press play. And it looks like this. Now to add the actual blur, I use the motion blur defaultly put on here. You just click the motion blur and you tick the, the box. And the motion blur length, I just put that up like fully and then you press play. And motion blur is actually really cool because it's, it's motion blur. To add more blur if you want, you can go onto a normal plugin that Sony Vegas has. It's right here. This is it. So just add this onto it. Press OK. And you can choose the horizontal range of the blur and the vertical range of the blur. And it's pretty crazy. So I'll just use the motion blur if I was you. So you guys can play around with this. If you don't like the blur, just untick the motion blur effect and have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's very simple to do if you have the plugin. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.